Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the combination of the SM7B microphone and the Rode PSA1 boom arm. Before I start though, just uh, one second first. Guys, don't ignore this sign, okay? This sign, spring loaded, caution, in massive letters in yellow, is there for a reason, okay? Please don't ignore it, and I'll tell you why in a second. This is a great combo for a podcast setup. The SM7B and the Rode PSA1 were made for each other, really. In July 2020, the mic retails between 325 and 375 in the UK. I'll share the links below. And the Rode PSA1 boom arm is currently £77 on Amazon. The one thing you've got to think about is when you've got on a desk stand like the Samsung, you've got the microphone in, in a mode that's, um, that's for desk stand. When it comes out of the box, the SM7B comes in a boom setup. So what you've got to do for a desk stand like the Samsung is to switch it around. So it's not that difficult, but you've got to do it. Otherwise it will, it will be quite hard to, to change the, the position of the microphone. If you are putting on a boom, which is what I'm doing, then you have to invert that or leave it as it, as it came out of the box. All right, just watch out for that. The other thing is, and there's loads of YouTube videos on this, I'll probably put a couple of links in there of um, another extension tube that you got to buy. It was at this moment that he knew he <laughs> I'm always very careful and, and really really careful when assembling it and I was, I was paying attention to that sign but you know after assembling it I completely forgot that the spring is obviously still there and it's still very much loaded so because I had nothing attached to the arm uh, when I first assembled it when I touched it when I was filming another part of the video it released spring and it went up straight to, <laughs> towards my face missing my eye by half a centimeter so I mean it could have been a really nasty injury. It was, it was just a minor cut, but it could have been a lot worse. So be extra careful, guys. You know, maybe keep it nice and secured. Use, uh, I'll show you what I've done. When I'm not using it, when I'm kind of, when it's not secure, I just put a little bit of a, an extra sort of bit of cable tight in there just to, to make sure that it doesn't, it doesn't cause any more accidents. So yeah, j just be careful. Until you've attached your microphone, because you know, the microphone will add the weight of, of it and that's, that's then secure and it will be nice and smooth motion. It's actually very quiet and, and smooth. That's a great part of it. But without a microphone in it, it's quite a strong um, spring that is got in there. So just be careful. Right, that warning's out of the way. We can talk about the setup. First, just a quick unboxing view for you. Okay, so this is the PSA1 Studio Arm by Rode. If you you're limited in space and you know I've got a small desk here any touch on the desk any clicks on the keyboard really impacts the performance of this guy so spend quite a bit of money on the shore SM7B is a bit of a beast um, so it deserves um, a bit better support so I'm gonna attach this guy to my desk and see if it improves performance let's open it up Any excuse for me to use my Benchmade knife. Love this thing. Caution, spring loaded. Okay, that's made me slightly worried about opening it now. This could be a very popular video if I cause injury to myself. <laughs> All right, yes. It's a little bit strong. Oh, yeah, it's quite strong actually. I'm gonna try the least destructive option first and just put it on the, on the ledge. Right, you can definitely understand, just going back, I can't emphasize enough why they've got this sign in there. You know, one little slip up and this thing I didn't need any stitches or anything, but it, it could have been, you know, it could have been, you know, if it did hit my eye, 
it could have been a serious problem. So again, please be careful guys. Yeah. Maybe keep the arm secured until you have attached the microphone so that its weight makes the, the arm safer to move around. So, you know, that's that's what how it's intended to be used anyway. It was completely my fault, but also I, I'm trying to think when I'm uninstalling the microphone or changing a microphone, I'm gonna need to secure the arm again. So just, yeah, bear that in mind in future. Yeah, just be careful. Why did I decide to get a boom arm? in the first place, what drove me. So I'll give you my use case. Obviously there'll be different use cases out there. Mine was mainly because, you know, I, I invested quite a lot on, on a decent microphone, which is the SM7B, and I don't need to go into a lot of detail on that. You, you guys know it's well documented, you know, Michael Jackson used it. Come on. <laughs> but I had this, this stand out because I thought I'm not gonna spend a lot more money on things that I'm not sure make sense. So this was 10 pounds on, on Amazon, it's a Samsung. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. You know, I just wanted to sort of try it. But my setup, that desk stand just wasn't good, just wasn't good enough. It required quite a lot of post-processing, uh, removing noise and, and uh, especially vibrations on my desk. Um, I move my arms quite a bit when I'm talking, so to touching the desk or typing or anything that I was doing that microphone without enough shock absorption. Is that the word? <laughs> without enough shock absorption. Um, I don't have a shock mount basically. So any vibration on my desk, even when I was just moving my foot on the floor, that was being picked up on the desk. And I had to do a lot of cleaning up afterwards on, on post-production. And that's, that's not great, right? A bit of post-processing is always gonna be needed. But I found myself having to fix a lot of issues due to those vibrations you know that that was picking being picked up by the microphone when standing on on that de on that um, desk stand so in summary the, the desk stand by samson there's absolutely nothing wrong with it it's you know to be honest they did a great job of that but i'm not going to go over the gain versus noise conversation because there are hundreds of videos out there uh, on on that already uh, so i know the reason i'm getting a lot of noise is helped by the amount of gain that I'm adding at a preamp. You know, I'm not yet sure I need something like a cloud lifter to add more gain, uh, because from what I understand, you know, and based on lots of other videos on YouTube, that would actually add to my problem slightly. And, and, I, and I'd lose some of the quality of the SM7B. So I'm kind of cautious before I add the cloud lifter. I know it does uh, a lot in adding clear gain, but I've also understood that it's another hop, you know, it's, it's another, Thing that you're putting in between the the microphone and the and the computer so for now i'm trying other solutions just to reduce the noise rather than add another device in between so that's my preference i'm going to try that first i'll probably change my scarlet uh, 4i4 which is my preamp to a higher quality preamp before thinking about uh, a cloud lifter i think that's probably the best course of action for me if if i don't if i'm not happy with the result now so the desk stand from samson as I said, it's 10 pounds, definitely still. It's probably what would solve the problem for many people. In my situation, I'm actually go back to it if if my problem is turns out to be the Scarlett 4i4, maybe. Uh, so I can totally see how it might work well on bigger desks as well. I mean, you, you can have that on a, on a bigger desk where you've got, you know, you might be using something like a podcaster or a more purpose-built preamp. Or maybe, you know, maybe you might even have a shock mount in that situation that will help reduce those vibrations before it goes into the recording. But I'm trying to find a good balance here between budget and quality. So, so the boom feels like the right thing to do for me to reduce the vibrations before it gets into, into you know, hundreds of pounds spent on, on another preamp. So let's see if that, for me, reduces the, the vibration noises I was getting. If that doesn't work, then my natural next step will be to look at, at a shock mount. Given the arm is now completely away from my desk, I actually put it on a, on a window ledge and I'll show you in a minute what, what I mean by that. Uh, and I know that won't work for everybody, but it's, it's worth considering if you've got a window uh, near your desk and that's a position where your desk is always gonna be, maybe consider uh, doing what I've done here if you've got that same situation. Uh, if not, what I was going to do actually, uh, originally, was I was fully prepared to drill my desk and physically put this thing on the desk and physically secure it and everything because my desk, unfortunately, is a lot bigger than this to attach it to, to the clamp. So the clamp that comes with it is for, it, it will suit a lot of desks. Um, but in my case, this was just not, um, not big enough. Th this gap here is not big enough for my desk. It doesn't really fit in there. So but it fits on my window ledge perfectly, so, so that's great. So yeah, so in my case, unless the house vibrates and I open the window or the front door slams, 
I expect not to not to be needing to draw my desk. So, but you know, if, if that happens, that's probably what we're gonna what I'm gonna do. So before I go spending any more cash, I'll give this a go and see if the vibration noises I was getting is completely reduced, ideally completely gone. So as you probably can see from my previous videos as well, I like to find alternative solutions that don't cost a lot of money. So this this approach is certainly in line with that. Like many people doing this stuff on YouTube, I, I, I try to keep the cost down to make sure that I'm getting you know, good quality for a decent um, amount of money without having to break the bank. So by the way, if you're, if you're doing a lot of working from home at the moment, which, which we all are uh, due to the current lockdown rules, check out my other video on using the Rodego wireless as well. You can't compare that with the SM7B to, uh, you know, for using with, with podcasts, but it's, I found a great way to use that for working from home solution. So yeah, give that, give that a watch as well. So other than that earlier incident, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the final result and I'll, and I'll post a link to my podcast as well. So you can see, well, you can hear for yourself. As I was saying before, when I was setting it up, before I got the Apple car, if you need extra flexibility to move the SM7B around, sort of 360 movement, you will need one of these that I'm showing you on the screen right now. And as usual, there's a link in the description as well. So that extra piece will allow you to, to have a full 360 degree movement without having to unplug any cables, which is great. In my case, I'm quite happy actually not needing that. But again, if, if I change my setup, if I move the microphone around and need to, to move the SM7B 360 then I'll probably do that as well not having to drill the desk for me is a, that's definitely a certain appeal to it so in my case I'll just stick to the desk clamp even though I'm just using it on the window so in terms of quality I mean this is this is well documented it's it, it's probably the go-to there's only another one that you can probably look for you know just be careful with that spring uh, it's it's quite as you can see this as you can hear there's not much noise when you when you move things around it's got very nice and smooth movement to it you can obviously you know adjust it. this part here at the top adjusting this will allow you to either have the microphone standing up or in a bit of a boom setup like that you know it's a very flexible device so i can't recommend it enough if you watch other other youtube videos and other podcasts you see that a lot of people have this on their desk so can't really go wrong with it just as i said just watch out with the position where you're going to put it and uh, with the spring <laughs> as well all right guys it's another short video today and i hope you enjoyed it please consider subscribing to my channel if you have a look at my other videos you'll see that i'm actually quite responsive to to my viewers so please ask me anything over there either, either about today's video or any other thing that you want me to review any other gear that you'd like me to review and i'll see you in the next one without enough shock absorption absorb Absolution. <laughs>